Hey guys, Design Dan here. A short video today. I'll be showing you uh, how I'm transferring a design from Adobe InDesign to Canva. I have a client who I designed a, um, he calls it a lead magnet, but it's more of a brochure flyer uh, for, and he will be having s uh, some internal people working on it. And he, his wish was to have it um, as easy editable as possible. That's why, um, yep, the idea is just to convert it into Canva and let his people um, adjust the designs and fill it with content as they need. And I'm aware it's a bit of a, let's get to it. I can uh, talk while we do it. I'm aware it's a bit of a, um, how to say it. How do I make this small though? Guys, oh yeah, my first video. Anyway, uh, I am obviously not a fan of working in Canva, but if that helps, yeah, and this is, this is a trial for me to see how, how it would work and, um, just how it performs in general. I did have a little exploration before, um, so I know already what has to be done. Obviously, this is the most important setting, and we are going to add guides. Yes, we're going to add custom guides. We have a margin of 19 it's in millimeters so it's 1.9 535 it's i'm using a um, special grid calculator um that's why i came up with these numbers but obviously it is a bit too precise for canva um but you know what it's fine, 0 0.4. I'm actually surprised that I can set this everything here up um, that you guys see because I actually think that it is already impressive. Anyway, on the right hand side, you can see the design that I'll be transferring. So. I saw here an option to add, yeah, brand colors. So let's add some colors. Let's add this color. And yeah, like this. And I'm missing one more margin, which is the top one, which is 0 point, I'll say, margin 2.97 yeah that works and that is now I wonder if I can actually edit this but Now we're gonna disable the other margin. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I have this open here. So just to show you what I'm doing, I have another screen here and I have opened his logo here, which I also find quite impressive. I just copy and paste it into Figma. Uh, look at that, isn't it crazy? And I think, okay, I'll pull it away here. Yeah. Okay.
and did it copy it? No. I know it copied. Uh -huh. Fan of It was actually a template, so don't mind the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, which means four, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> to be fair, I am surprised that it's actually working quicker than I thought it would. And not only quicker, um, Things are possible here that I also didn't expect to be possible, such as doing, setting up the margins, copy and pasting um, the logo. Yeah, so, I just uploaded this file here, which um, includes this graphic, which is a PDF, and this graphic is an SVG on it, uh, inside it, I guess. And we are gonna place it, oh, okay, we have that happen. We're gonna place it here uh, in our design. Uh, uh, something going on. Yeah. So I am just realizing that the um, transparencies, such as this gradient here, is missing so I guess I'll have to export it as um, PNG and then place it there which is a bit unfortunate that it doesn't work but I guess that would be already a lot to ask from Canva so um, I'll just place all the text which I also, whoop, ooh, I think now with the PDF embedded here, embedded, linked, how do I close this, like, I mean, why is there no close button for this? Am I just not understanding something? Uh, I guess I got I got a bit slower 
Damn, it got a lot slower. Uh, keep in mind, I'm using an M3 here. Um, from 23 and 23. Wow. And I also restarted it today, so you know those, you guys know those people who just restarted like once a year, which I used to do too. And uh, that is unbearably slow. Ah, maybe also because I'm recording um, this right now. I have a couple of things open that I don't need to be that don't need to be open. This is not going to change much. You know what? I'll just delete it for now. Yeah, perfect. And this will accelerate the process here. I can make it vis not geometric, but visual aligning. Work. Uh, toes. Yes, that's what we're using here. Mm -mm -mm. Tick, tick. I can actually I can lock these four. Yes. This one. This will be the same. Hmm. Wait, I just, is it just me or did I already have it left aligned? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still best to work in InDesign. I mean, that's what it is made for. But if that enables the client to utilize the design, more freely and what can you do 1.8 1 1.9 actually 1.5 and we're gonna align it here For those of you, uh, for those of you who don't know, but you can, um, in Safari, you can just change the uppercase or lowercase, like I just did. And uh, we can edit this. Well, obviously, you, you don't have. I assume you don't have stuff like you know, aligned to grid, and then. Here, for example, everything is aligned to grid, but here um, also everything is aligned to grid. Yeah, but for example, here I only have the top line, the first line aligned to grid. So I can imagine that Canva is not going to have these features. But again, um, at what cost? At the cost of not being able to use it for the client. Uh, up toes, yes. So this is maybe up toes, but bolder. Now, actually, I wanted to make it wor work sense. I thought before. Yeah. Uh, because. 
no, never mind. Um, I don't know, it's just my first video, so uh, uh, I hope it provides value, um, especially in the beginning with setting up the file, and uh, the main, the main moral of this story is that it is possible, um, to convert and to rebuild it and I would even say I've done in my past in my career um, I did some converting into <laughs> uh, word I did actually when I was younger I was playing around <laughs> with word um, a lot and uh, I remember once I we we went to visit someone and they they had like a ferrari and i was like wow it's a crazy car and i shared pictures of it and <laughs> created a, a powerpoint presentation <laughs> about the car I had nothing better to do i guess uh, i would love to be back at that, those times you know <laughs> but oh um yeah, but it was very easy to reach Microsoft's limits. And sorry about this. And here it is actually quite um, satisfactory how it works. So yeah. Yeah, okay, I see this is one, two, three, four, but it's fine. I prefer it to be smaller. This could be optically aligned. Delta R. Yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I will just add here this how to do it at a page yeah that was it and um i think this should be also a bit smaller 1.2 should be enough and then yeah so as soon as this comes in it starts to get very long um so I guess working with vector graphics, complicated where vector graphics on Canva, in Canva, uh, is not there yet. Okay. Mm, but overall, um, I find it's a nice result. Maybe I can turn off the guides to show you how it works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. There's a shortcut for that. You know that one. Cool. Uh, let's disable the guides here. Yeah. There you go. Um, guys, that was me showing you. This is a bit too big. guys thank you for watching that was me showing you how i'm transferring a design from indesign into figma so that the client can uh utilize it on his own or within his company um i hope this was helpful um thanks bye bye